Hey guys, so we're taking a quick peek inside my NAS right now. Um, this is my primary NAS and we're going to switch over to the terminal right here. So basically we're, we're taking a look at what's inside it, but we're also fixing a degraded mirror. So um, yeah, basically what happened was one of the cables came loose or there was some issue with the cable and reseating it and ended up fixing it. But right now we're logging in and we are going to take a look at the mirror. Um, and, and we're just going to show you uh, what it looks like before we actually switch back to our NAS. So here you're going to see uh, there is our degraded disk. Um, it's uh, So that mirror is unavailable. Um, so it's SDI is, is unavailable. So essentially we are going in the, yes, yeah, so now that basically makes the whole, you know, the whole thing unavailable. So <clears throat> we want to get that fixed sooner rather than later. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that in just a sec. Here we go. Here's the inside. So we're going to take a look around a little bit and then we're going to, uh, actually, you know, reseat the cable. Um, so you see, these are a bunch of discs. I put them where I could in this case. This case is kind of suboptimal. I'd like to sort of, uh, change that, but for now, this is how it is. And, um, yeah, you'll see here. Yeah, mo most of this is just getting a good view of the drives and stuff. And it, it is messy. There's cables everywhere. Um, it, it's just horrible cable management. But yeah, see, this is these are the SATA cables. Um, I'm not sure if I actually capture myself reseating each one of them in this in this video snippet. But those are the cables that I will be reseating. And you notice there that HBA card, that that one PCI card there. That's an HBA card that comes that originally is meant for a server. And I bought it on eBay and it had the firmware updated so that you could just have a JBOD. So I have, you know, just a bunch of disks. So it, it's just a way I can, you know, because I ran out of uh, SATA uh, ports on my, my system board. So I now have, uh, you know, the HBA card for more SATA ports. And so, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for, for the inside right now. We're, we have uh, reseated them without capturing that on camera. And now we are going to go in and check our our disk. So yeah, you'll see it is uh, you know we just do a zpool status and it is back online. And here's a screenshot from before of it not being online. So we didn't actually have to replace the disk or anything. We just, you know, um, just reseated the cable, just unplug and replug the cable and that's it. Um, so yeah, and I have a few more things we're gonna look at in a sec. Um, some more screenshots and stuff. Yeah, okay, so those are screenshots of it getting repaired and stuff. Oh, and you, you, you'll see here, I am pointing out like, uh, you know, it's still, it's still resilvering it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's online. Oh, it looks like it's scrubbing rather. Um, and, and nothing needed to be repaired. Anyways. So we're going to take a look at a few other things here. In just a sec. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's that's basically where my ZFS file system is mounted. Tank one, um, not real creative naming. Um, li listing the block devices here, just to just to give you a quick view of our, you know what what devices I have on my NAS. Um, so you, you you can see them all here, how all the partitions are laid out and stuff like that. Um, nothing too crazy or too exciting, nothing unusual. You can see I have one disk for uh, for swap and root, and uh, for swap root and I guess boot, and all the other disks are in the the Z pool. So my uh, OS disk is not. So yeah, just looking through my history here, I'm I, I'm using Restic to do back backups and um, yeah, backing up to Backblaze. And I ran a scrub. You, you can see I, I recently ran a scrub, you know, did the Z pool status and all that. And let's see what else. 
All right, so this one's actually a pretty pretty good one to take a look at. So I ran Smart CTL, and this is how I figured out um, or, or guessed what's wrong with the, the disk. So I saw some errors on the specific disk that um, that I had to uh, reseat the cable on, and apparently it's a, it, it's a common indicator that the disk isn't failing really, but that it might have a connection issue. Or, or that's that's the conclusion I came to after uh, you know researching the issue a little bit. Um, this was a while back though, so um, yeah, I, I did this quite a while ago when I recorded this initially. But um, yeah, so Smart CTL uh, is an excellent tool to uh, to use. So give us a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon, and leave a comment down below. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this video and we'll see you next time.